Recording in in the try to send the recording in the WhatsApp group ready. When, so that when I'm answering, I need to answer uh, each and every question as 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 so that I cover you all. Are we together? If if it means type them in the WhatsApp group. Say, can you clarify on this? Clarify on this? Clarify on this? Now, concerning deemed costs, I have told you, I will then have also to check because you notice these figures I have here, I downloaded them during the course of the lecture on that day. So I need also to re -go, re redo the, the whole web search again and see if I can find other deemed costs. Just the two deemed costs, staff housing and motor vehicles, just the two. That's, that's, that's the issue there. <clears throat> So I have sent the question in our CBE practice, uh, I mean, on our, on our WhatsApp, uh, on, the, on the Skype chat. Let us finish this question, guys, uh, from 6 to, 6 to 8.30, yeah, we will we'll be able to finish it. We'll be able to finish it. Let us finish this question paper. Let us finish the question paper. Feel free to, 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 to participate. Remember last time when we were doing PM, I ended up saying I'm no longer going to talk, having realized that I was doing revision but talking to myself. These are the rules for this revision. Number one, if figures, if the figures are in are in US dollars, we are going, we are going to just assume that they are in, 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 in RTGS. The only exception is when a deem, when deemed costs are required. So for present purposes, when we are answering a question where there is a deemed cost, we shall be using, for motor vehicles, we shall be using 80,000. For staff housing, we shall be using 400,000, which is, you know, I showed you the, 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 the finance act, which I downloaded there. Uh, and then for, the, for those two, for motor vehicle, we shall be using 80. For staff housing, we shall be using 400. At all points, for tax rate, we shall be using 24%. And for VAT, we shall be using 14.5%.
But in the interest in the interest of just knowing whether our answer is correct, for VAT it will be convenient for us to use 15%, though we know that in the exam we will be using 14,5. Remember, I said the same statement last week, and I noticed Shingai got confused with that same statement. I said when we are revising this paper, let us just use VAT, which is there, which is 15%. Though we know that in our exam, the rate to use is 14,5. So when you are saying 15 over 115 on this paper, in your exam, it will be 14,5 over 114,5. That distinction, get it right. So, continuing. <clears throat> Daniel was born on 31 August 1953. He is employed and earns 1,900 per month. What is the amount of Daniel's allowable deductions from employment in respect of his NASA contribution? NASA contributions for the year ended 31 December 2018. You talk to yourself, please. Today, today, are you are doing much of the talking? I, I, are you not seeing? I'm actually having my medication here. Talk to me. Okay. This person was born on one August 1953. This year, this this date is important. It means this person clocked 65 years when? Talk to me, guys. Uh, in uh, August 2018. On, 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 on 31 August 2018. Good. Yes. yes. So w once you are an employee who is now 65 years, what happens? Containing NASA? You are now exempt. You are now exempt from sub, from mm -hmm. contributing to NASA. You you don't you don't contribute to NASA. And what is the NASA NASA rate for 2020? 4.5 percent up to a monthly salary of. 5,000. Are we together? 4, it's 4.5% up to a maximum monthly salary of 5,000. Now, because you are revising this paper, that's what I said. Because you are revising this paper, there's no answer that you get when you are using 4.5%. So you can, you can just punch in the calculator and say, 1,900 is less than 5,000. So we use the 1,900 multiplied by 4,5%. Multiply by 4,5%, then times how many months? This person was, was contributing NASA from January to 31 August, meaning times eight. So the NASA contribution uh, the NASA contribution for this particular person, it now becomes, um, <clears throat> it's, it now becomes 684. Are you not seeing the answer for 684? It's not there and it's not our baby. The reason is the rate has changed. The monthly salary has changed. So it, but we can still use it for our vision purposes. So the answer there is 684. So this is what I said you should do. But if you want to verify whether the answer is correct using these text rates, I said all you do is you come to these text rates and say, NASA contributions. You come to these text rates and say, NASA contributions for this paper was 3.5%. And you will be given your own tables with 4,5%. So don't cram. It was 3,5% and maximum salary was 700. Just in case you want to mark it for yourself. Maximum salary was 700. So this person was earning what? This person was earning, 
this person was earning 1.9, which was above 700. So we simply say 0 0.035 times 700 times 8. So the correct answer for this paper was 196. Notice you don't contribute NASA when you have, when you are now uh, older, when, when, when you are now older than 65. Which of the following statements is true in respect of information which must be included on a valid text invoice? Talk to me, guys. Information on a valid text invoice. Yes, B, two, three, and four. You know that when you are writing an invoice, clearly you don't write an invoice and, and put BP number for the customer. No, if you are selling thing, goods to Atlas Resources, perhaps uh, you can only put address for Atlas Resources, but not necessarily to the extent of putting even BP number for the customer. No. So this is correct. <clears throat> Let us move. Let us be pasty. Number three, Jane was provided with a loan of 12,000 from a employer on 31 March 2008. The interest rate is 3,5%. Jane applied the loan as follows. So House Innovations took 3,000 and then Motor Vehicle purchased five and then Graduate Studies 4,000. The average LIBOR was 1,5%. How much is what is the value of Jane's taxable benefit in respect of the loan for the year and the 31 December 2008? Talk to me. I think we say 5% plus 1,5%. Uh, subtract 3,5 percent, and then we take 3,000 and 5,000 because we said uh, there is no benefit. Can I find him, uh, Maria kind of for me education or for education purposes? So we say 5 percent plus 1,5 percent minus 3,5 percent the interest uh, multiplied by 3,000 plus 5,000. That's 8,000. And then we'll get, I think, let me work out 5 plus 1,5 minus 3,5 percent, we get 3 percent. And then we say 3 percent of 8,000, 3 percent of 8,000, uh, we get 240. And then we say 240 since uh, the loan was acquired on, on 31 March. And then we say by 10 over 12 months, and then we get, I uh, know we say by 9 over 12, sorry. I think it's 9 over 12. Yes. But then the answer that I'm correct. getting, I think my calculations were, let me start again my calculations. I think I missed up somewhere. Ah, yeah. Your calculations ah, is well. I, I was punching as well. I'm getting 180. Yes, yes. Well, uh, so the answer is one eight. <laughs> yes. So, 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 guys, are you not seeing the way Julie has presented it? This is how I want us to discuss. Allow me not to discuss. Allow me not to say things. I just want to gauge your confidence. This, these revision sessions are feedback mechanisms. No wonder why I had joy when we were asking questions. They are feedback mechanisms. We should. You should be free to taza kana kugona mlesen. Kwete kuti unyari kutaza mlesen. And it will quick. Right. So, those are not as long as we say quitters. So, Julia has not been able to. Next. Chet, dia nchimbo teri la jete mchiweka. Evergreen. Yeah, right. Evergreen Limited is a category B value added tax registered operator. 
The company is virtually ten for all. You know what? I need people who understand English. It's saying VAT return for August period. So, so this was the return for the period, you know, which ended August 2018. So what was the due date? If the tax period ends August 2018, so due date in Nigeria. In Botswana, I say it's a budget. But if you can see tax period, you know it. You know include August. Can I? You know tax period is August. So the due date is going to be. Then it's twenty twenty five of the next month of the following month of the following month. Then it's going to be September. Great. So the due date is going to be twenty five September. Good. Eh. So the due date is. Right now, we are going to start 25 September, but we are going to end at 25 November. So, we are going to be late now. How many days? We are going to start 25 September, June. So, we are going to be late now. Ah. It's not a one day, it's three months. I think it's not a one day, it's not a one day. Are you? Are you watching that? 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 Ulo tanga ukaunda kwa 25 September, saka i 25 October na 25 November. Ino gol two months ito. What are you talking? Okay, okay, okay. So it is always important kuti ulo tanga ukaunda para iwa tu going forward. Right? Next. I like I. Yeah, it, this one, this one. Let me say it again, and hopefully, I will not, I will not continue, I will not continue necessarily saying it over and over. You know, it is saying on one July twenty eight, Tapiwa aged fifty nine. You know, if if Tapiwa is aged fifty nine, sold and listed shares in a company for one eight thousand. Details of the shares disposed by Tapiwa are as follows. Now, these are the details of shares disposed by Tapiwa. Now, uh, <clears throat> and then the question is, what is the capital gain arising on Tapiwa's disposal of shares on 1 June? Meaning, you know what, if the question says on 1 June, they are saying the capital gain which was which Tapiwa should have paid on that date? Are, are we together, uh, Shingai? Because that is that was part of your question also. Yeah, yeah. Ah, apanda papa, apanda. But that depends on what you now calculate. What capital gains with holding tax? You know, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The capital gains with holding tax, but notice Tapiwa. Tapiwa is fifty-nine years old. What do we do yeah. first? If so now yes, the deal. If Tapiwa is 59 years old, you come to your tables. Notice. You come to your tables. So you'll be given your tables. The tables they tell you that these are exemptions for, for elders. So yes. there is a gain from sale of dis or disposal of marketable security. If you are an elder in this paper, how much was exempt? 1.8. So uh, in your paper, do you put 1.8 or you check the figure from your tables? Uh, uh, we will check from our tables. The, exactly. So, 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 so,
Uno saka maanza zezi no aninga siyana ni atili na upana. Unongoti maria kawali kwa natapiwa na, na, na tapiwa paka tengesa. Which was 180,000. Minus ya iwe exempt. Isusu manji. Isusu manji atitia kwa nisiku iwana answer ipa. Because rasiana. So, but that multiplied by 5%. I'm a different tax regimes. 8910. So, withholding tax that will be deducted is 8910. So, all that is required is to consider that Tapiwa is aged 59. Once you get that, please flip back to the tables and get the exempt portion. Get the exempt portion for. for get the exempt portion portion for for an elder up and you can go i later 1.8 your tables will not have 1.8 and then you take the figure from your tables and deduct it from gross sales proceeds before you calculate with holding tax if there's no it was a good deduct um exempt portion is no it were whether i think is unlisted can i think is unlisted who start to multiply on a one percent Kana kutina 5%, tanga wa visa exempt portion, kana muna tenge sa wacho ari elder. Dikuta wala nesho na because nikuzi ya mtu na wana peze reza. Next, which of the following are examples of direct taxes? Corporate tax, payee, and capital gains. Yes, corporate tax, payee, and capital gains. The issue is, oh, sorry, I'm busy reading my tablets. The issue is, um, corporate, corporate direct taxes are taxes which are paid whenever you earn income, not when you spend, but when you earn income. So, corporate tax is paid when a company earns income. Pay as, pay as you earn is paid when you earn your income. Capital gains takes in the same manner. Next. On one May, extra sold a passenger motor vehicle to one of the company's senior managers for its market value of 45000 The motor vehicle was originally acquired on 10 November 2015 at a cost of 60 Extra had always claimed the maximum capital allowances uh, in line with company's policy. Now, this one, pay attention, because I want to change figures. I want to change figures on everything. So, uh, allow me, because I want to explain a concept here, so allow me to change figures and pay attention. I will ask you if you have noted it. Let's say cost of the vehicle cost on 1 November uh, 2015, where there's 45, let me now put 450, because there's a concept I want to, 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 to highlight here. Then uh, it was, oh, it cost, it was 600, not 450. Let me put 600 and disposal proceeds. I want to let, to let the figures reflect Zim dollar figures. Disposal proceeds four fifty. Now deemed cost. I said for our present purposes, we are saying deemed cost. Cost is eighty. Cost is eighty. For this is for our present. I I I said I will check on this. So far, I downloaded that finance act, which is said, telling me it's eighty. If there's if I research and find a hundred thousand, as you have, as you guys are saying it, I will again notify you in the group to say let us use these deemed costs. But for now, let us use eighty. Now notice something. How many years we sold this this vehicle in twenty in twenty eighteen? Oh, since twenty eighteen. So what it means is capital allowances granted. Capital allowances. I just want you to notice the approach taken. So capital allowances granted becomes you have how many years? 2018, 
2015, 2016, 2017. So capital allowances are 80,000 times 25% times three years. These are the capital allowances granted. So capital allowances will be 60,000. 60,000. So because we calculate on deemed cost, so ITV, ITV will be 20,000. Notice ITV, we say the deemed cost minus capital allowances. So ITV is 20,000. Now, when you are calculating selling price now, for the purposes of computing recoupment, I said you don't use the selling price that we have here. I said, what do we use, if you remember? When you are selling a motor vehicle which qualified for the cost, you are now, you want to find the selling price. What do you use? I think, I think that two chances are deemed the cost. No, no, not really. Takati two chances are deemed the selling price. Can, can, I, can I in a deemed cost no calculator or deemed selling price and deemed selling price that that uno it uno it uh actual cost uno not we were deemed cost deemed cost over actual cost times actual selling price so in this case in this case deemed cost is 80 over actual cost it's 450 i mean it's 600 actual cost is 600 then multiply this by actual selling price which is 450 one two three so what you get is 80 over 600 times 450 one two three the answer that i'm getting is actual selling price it will be 60,000. so actual selling price will be 60 so recoupment, I mean, I mean, deemed the selling price will be 60. So recoupment, recoupment will be equal to, recoupment will be equal to deemed the selling price minus ITV. So recoupment will be equal to 40. This will be the recoupment. So the point I wanted you to understand is, you know, it's like a simple proportion. Get it, get it here. Um, uh, get it here, um, Julie. It's like this: if actual sell, if actual cost is giving you, is giving you actual selling. If actual cost, you you ask yourself if actual cost of six hundred is giving you actual selling price, actual selling price of four fifty. How much? What was what was your deemed cost of eight going to give you? What was it going to give you? You'd notice that it was going to give you less. It was, and I don't want you to claim me for me. It was going to give you less. So can I really less? What was the deemed selling price? You then say deemed cost over actual cost times actual selling price. Can you just confirm to me that my matter, just type noted or those of a player say whichever way. That will be bad. Okay, continuing. Continuing. Now you require me less than it. Mana. In in one was in in the and you feel like and you feel like one was still wearing kind. Which of the following buildings are not classified as commercial buildings for capital allowances? Taurina say that my buildings are not here as commercial building. I think the. You are saying you are saying B or D? D. Ah, I B B Julie. You know the commercial building, Kasha. No, I said B. Eh, you got B commercial building. You are to note. 
said the D. Oh, sorry. You said the D. Yeah, in in the D. Ah, right. Yeah, it's in I say D. Yes, D is the answer. D to make classifier say. Now, so because the staff houses are not commercial buildings. This is as simple as that. Staff, I won't staff house. Ne shop, No. Right. Yes. Then, light brought into use the following assets during the year ended 31 December. So these assets were brought into use. And notice these assets were. I want I want these uh, these words to be un underlined. Were acquired and brought. Acquired and brought into use. What is the maximum capital allowances? Can you work it out for me? Ah, don't just don't work it out. It out tower up to no die. Up to no die. Not commercial vehicle. To no die. Tower na se. This pan time calculate. The time to kasira. Pan the maximum capital allowance possible. Nice guys, nice guys, nice, nice, nice team rango. Team rango exam time bound guys. That is our one, one asset by one asset. You go to our way Okay, now I'm going to factory building. Since pan's maximum capital allowances. I think Tingichi claim uh, 25%. So, for example, for perfect to building, 25% of 200,000. So, one capture allowing the factory building. Ah, uh, you are right on that one. Oh, you are right with my capital, my maximum, maximum 5%. But in the case of building, you can acquire no claim a CIL. Julie? No, say I will say no claim away and see. That that in the that in the little way, the Ronova win our good building, he claim a seer. Canaraka pitches for by the owner. Canakutraka construct. Uno Unofana to go away the good constructed. Whenever building was acquired at Arichakwan so claim a sea and a passina sea Ipa Saka Kungo Dai Souls Rakwe Kungo Dai Souls Rako Shingai Urufanango Bisa building building chat and all no claim a five percent way and tea. Zasara ZS one six is the old claim a sea. Sakon one six is the one two three times point twenty five plus. 200, 1, 2, 3 times 0 0.05, you get 50,000. So the answer is D. Dosaka, Dosaka, one and that acquired, that is highlighter. Please, Usasha, two marks, Nikuda Pewed. River uh, commenced business operations on 20 March 2018 and he registered with Zimra. On the same date, the company projected taxable income for the period ended 31 December is 20,000. What amount of corporation, corporate tax should deliver remit on 25 March 2018? Now, the Katalan QPD, even Uka Uka Tanga business, Uka register, Uka 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 Tanga business, Msua 24 March. Uno fan out of puto kuto 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 submit a first quarter QPD. I won't get it because in the tank I'm so 25 March first quarter QPD, Lango only five days. Saga so chari in this uh not to submit. Imari two thousand. Ah, remember, remember two thousand that it takes e profit guy. Oh, oh, okay. It touched it.
It's a lot of things that I say. Tashi, Kishindai. And lots of things. Why? Tichati, Antipati, Abba, but you can do some marriage. I'm going to go. 25% of 20,000. Yeah. Plus 3% in there. Uh huh. And then. I want to change our one that is ten percent of that amount. Okay. Good. So if you snap wake up, no not answer the C. No change no change the plausible answer on Gawana. Right? Then Spiwe contributed seven comma five percent and one percent of a sixty thousand annual annual emoluments. Respectively, to an, to an administered pension fund, you know, can I can only employ a kunanon's my pension funds? Can I can I shut up a company? You know, go to pension. No one going to start pension. You at a jail, you can I can I put it on the pen in the benefit fund. Benefit fund is 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 any other fund is really statutory. Is really statutory. So pension fund is a statutory, but benefit fund normally it's not. So my statutory, my pension funds, retirement annuity funds, NASA, I know the statutory deductions. Then, kune mamo am anomo zima benefit fund. So kafa na ne uti papa kamba ni peyimu no tamba round, round here uti alu tu kundo bitter round. Iji chino mo anomo zima benefit fund. Chepa kamba ni peyimu. Each of us shall allow us a deduction. Those are just stage two. I'm going to deduct a Miranda around. Now, Spiwa is also a registered member of NASA. Now, uh, because Urbushandisa, Urbushandisa, um, Urbushandisa salary, NASA, NASA for 2020, monthly salary. Yanga iri 5,000 maximum. Saka ya kanzani annual salary is 60,000. You know what? Uno divide the 60 by 12. Uno not iri less than 5. Kuro ti nasa uchango ti 4,5% of 60. Watu wana ye, man, ye, ye annual. Then pension. Pension uno ti chi. Pension will not put 7,5% of 60. What do you get? 0 0.075 times 60. 4.5. So pension is pension, pension 4.5. As you can work with NASA, that's the one. They can put this decision in my tables. Can I work with NASA? You know that so. You know that Uno wea kuma tables wotarisa. Wotarisa yu kuti kuma tables NASA contribution maximum yanga NG. Iwewe yako apa pakanzi 3,5 maximum salary 700. Pako pane pakanzi 4,5 maximum salary 5,000. But hati mbo shanti sayi ma tables yu waya wone. Because ya ita ya itambila 60,000. You know what? Ya itambila salary yu kui exceed 700. Saka isusu sa nita kutata kuti pension plus pension plus NASA ye 0 0.035 times 700 times 12. Saka iye mariake ya ibu mizgo didaktua i 4794. That is kanata shanti sa ma tebo za. Iwo unosu ngo shanti sa ma tebo za. Kwa anika kato kuzi. Dudongo not answer yangu enda buli sa ilipo elijet. I'm coming back to those tables. Right? Right. Answer and I put it in for B. But the particular kids, if it is something, you will find out about my tables. You search Kangan, you will search Kangan, and they teach. Your pension, you have to pay 5.4, and you have to pay 4.5. You have to pay 5.4, you have to pay 5.4, you have to pay 5.4. Do check tanga. Chechi tu, ichichibati sise. Uka eda pension ne NASA. Zika darika mari ii, nengi ya kanzi aggregate. 
Unaweza kuti aggregate zvinoreva kuti total ndo kunonzi ku aggregate NASA ne pension ukazvi edha zvikadarika 5.4 unotora futi 5.4 hautore chombo tongo edha NASA ne pension zvaita 6.1 waitora 5.4 that is uchishandisa ma tables aya kana uchishandisa ma tables ako pana apa pane paine ma new figures apo normally so far tatakati ninge 5.4 by 8 anga ari kuma 40 something 42 point 43.2 i don't know so saka uka ukaona ikadarika aggregate nasa ne pension usa unotora aggregate as maximum deduction ukanzi employer ne washandi 7 unovho unenge uchi multiply ona 7 kana ukanzi pa employee unotora ye employee right next ah uh, sorry sir Ndrako vunza kati pa kuti kana tatora aggregate ye ye nasa ne ne pension fund lese pane mari tsaka siya tine ita kuzo splita se ome ba na ya sonzo sisa bwazi nda wana tui nasa ne ngene for example ene 0,3 ene 3,5 percent then ku pension fund agabadara 7,5 percent ya adena Ah, that is how we eat. We don't multiply our marriage. That's why we are. As if, cana, cana, cana. The ukazi e da zee se zika darika five point four. Uno tora five point four. Same oh, chita ro na ise because paka tonzi aggregate maximum deductible. Kure wa futi tonzi oh, right. iwe diwe shingai. Uno badara nasa. Uno badara retirement annuity fund. Uno badara pension. Uri muno one. Tika e da zese za wangu badara. Zika darika 5.4. Tinotora 5.4. Ok, alright. Atina basa ni kuti mareti ya kutenji. Ichi reti. Hapana reti. Pani maximum amount chete. Oh, but chilega. <laughs> chilega zopa. Why some solo 5.4? Unose. Una, and do that uba wama i greater from that. Chivu wangu zi ya kutindi kuti 5.4 because tibu shansa ma figures za and didi wangu ukiri mama figures kana ma table za ripu. Unozo mbo shansa ako ma table za uningo kapi wani za maina. Mike submitted his self-assessment in 10 for the year ended 31 December 20x8 on 1 April 20x9. Ndakati self-assessment ili juu wen. Tumbo tu wita business self assessment ra kore ra twenty twenty ne ra iwa juu wen yeah self assessment na kati ne ri juu mswa thirty thirty year next year. 30 April next year. Saka kuba. Kuba musi. musi kukungo ba musi wa wa submit a return. Kuba, kuba musi. Kuba musi wa, 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 wa unenge uchiti in. Kana wakati return in dela 31. Gore no pera 31 December. From that year end. Unofana ukipa ma records kwe 6 years. Mati, from, from that period end. Let me repeat. But ni atijiti ma records it takes. Ano kipa for six years. Ano kipa from the period end. From so can a period remember period end. I see submission date. I see due date. Ah. So can a period it pera thirty one December. My records are now kipa for six years from thirty one December. So how how for how long is Mike obliged to keep records? So it's six years from period end. So the answer is C there. If if somebody who are about to confusion, ungati ma records. If you you are you already takes your thirty one December twenty twenty eighteen. What ma records are tanga ku keep up from thirty one December twenty nineteen? Somebody somebody to get all confusion. Uno uno fanam bozi funga ni shona. Kuti ama accounts in that twenty eighteen. Yo tanga ku keep up ma records from thirty one December twenty nineteen. Sunga bude. Ibi chini zidu keep up ma records that twenty eighteen. 18 months you are 18 months is also almost in place. See W, I mean, OFC is an agricultural business. Make sure you understand all this. 
agricultural business. So I can tell that I'm an agricultural business. My farm implements, my farm raw materials, my farm implements, and on my zero rated supplies. You remember, you remember that, guys? Zero rated supply. Those are only going to be with agriculture. Urwe zaku who's gonna examine na kuzi. Ma farm implements machi ma zero rated. Zunu zunu latino da for farming is zero rated. Output put ya farm is zero rated. So uh, on one June it acquired the following assets. So clearly you can see what is the amount of input tax claimable. Tractor zero rated. Even though ones the combine harvester, as long as you farm implement and raw materials, they are zero rated supplies. So what is the answer there? They are saying these amounts are inclusive of that. Right? Can you just tell me using 15%, how are you going to calculate it? Please, time. Yes. What is what is Julie Tower? And that is fifteen percent of hundred and fifteen percent multiplied by seventy thousand of water. Multiplied by seventy thousand. Reason yes. they put your claim input takes per passenger motor vehicle, auntie. Yes. Good. Now that mm -hmm. one, now that one, we saga one at a claim input takes per tractor and ultimate farm implements must zero rated. At claim input takes per passenger motor vehicle because the VAT so says. Can I work with your exam record 2020? Power what 15 over 115. Work what 14,5 over 114,5. Those are the cheating, you know, revise my paper and change the size of it. Because even if you can see it, you can see it by 15%. It's more likely to even if you can go to 14,5, which is the effort. So, you have the rate at the front, you have the issue. You know, you have the rate, because the rate is not the exam. So, you have the rate, you have the rate. You have the rate, you have the approach taken. You have the rate, you have the rate, you have the rate, 15%. It's automatic with the rate you change. Well, no, the earth put it is net was on a new rate. Now, to land lives a rent free, rent free in an apartment belonging to his employer. To land moved into the apartment on 1 May 2018. The market rental for similar properties is 800 per month. To land can prove that he could get alternative accommodation at a monthly rent of 400. What is Tulan's taxable benefit in respect of the use of employer's apartment for the year ended 31 December 2018? Talk to yourself. Uh, okay, can, can someone tell me, Puti? Dakati Chi about housing benefit. You can, you can, by now, you can say that. say that. You can 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 say what is it that I said we we value how how we value the housing benefit? <laughs> hmm? Can go not run one one dinner of banana bandana. I saw Mark to strike. Yes, Tashing. Yes, Shinga. It's our team. What's the benefit in that no value? I see. Well, Tagarkan are located in a municipal area. The benefit to the employee is the lower of 7% of the cost of the house and 12,5% of the employee's salary. Ah, actually, in Dakati. Can I relocated in the municipal area? Benefit if a market rental. You are outside. Oh, okay. Can I can I can I in municipal area benefit if a market rental a house? But pane my point is that what N B. Nakati N B G. The benefit is also restricted 
to the value being reasonably received by the employee from the camera's house. Yes, because in Doban, I tip up. Can I only batch here? Like, can they now? Uno garamba, Uno Greystone, Uno Greystone Park. In eleven rooms, it will batch here. Rent market rent will be in one point five thousand US per month. I think I will benefit a one point five thousand US. It will batch here. Uno go chance to can one room. So chatting on social media, my dear, good. Chau, we need to benefit a chat with you. So can do para kunzi bana apa. Uyu manje arkunzi can prove those kapa arkunzi e tulani can prove that he can prove that the benefit yar kwa na four hundred. So kapunzi, what is the amount yar tine isabu gross income? Ati chato re fair market rate or if tulani can prove. No point yar wanyora yar waberenge kuti. However, the benefit is restricted to the amount which is reasonably being you know to the value which is reasonably being obtained. By the employee, so it will be 400 per month. I got a one me, so 400 times nine. Yeah, is that so? For the year ended, if you one may, how many months are they? Uh, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 400 times eight, which is 3,2. <laughs> Eight months, All right? On one September 2018, Mucha disposed the twenty thousand shares uh, in a listed company for sixty thousand. The shares were originally acquired on three January 2018 dollars per share. Uh, uh, now, what are the things? Now, when you are answering this question. I don't want you just to rush and say one percent. Remember, remember for for listed shares with holding tax, your for listed shares with holding tax and your final tax can I list it? As I did one percent multiplied by sixty. Ah ah. You know that is actually much. Are you old? Please, if I book a taxi, if I book a tram. Apa na utoa wa age ya mchairi, paka nzima mchairi ni sisi stays. Unoti, pamari yaga tenge sahi. Usato wa multiplier na one percent. Tanga waenda kudenga kuya. Unoti eo dali exemption pama marketable securities chi. O visa msiki stays multiplier na one percent. Right. Ati ati pesa ipe pa inas. Ati 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 participate. Roadside Milling Company recorded the following losses on disposal of its marketable securities and immovable property as detailed below. Right. So, I am a losses. I know I can now dispose of marketable securities. Cannot immovable property. Any special name? I know my. Hmm? Scrapes. Sorry? Anons my losses are no one that can dispose of market, can not dispose of my specified assets. What name is given to this? It is tax with a C. As my capital losses. Yes, Anons my capital losses. And in Dakati, how do we treat capital losses? Look up to gain the Takati. I don't know if you can be sure it's here. Yes, I said they are carried forward indefinitely. Yes, indefinitely. Right. Uno, Uno, what happened? You have to battle at his no way. You're going to defeat the carried forward indefinitely, Shinga. Yeah, I'm about. 
We're not going to reduce our sales the loss. So important. Now, the, the issue is, uh, I see ASMR says the losses are not carried forward. Pane minimum. Pane minimum. Yeah, minimum is 100. So far, it was $100. $100 is the minimum assess the losses. Kurok, you can assess the losses less than 100. You are going to have to carry forward. You are going to carry forward. Now, in the part of the move on, it was 100 multiplied by 8. So it's now 800. So I'll get assessed the loss here 800 and above. Do you have to carry forward? We get assessed the loss here less than 800. You can't carry it forward. So I'll get a question here. So I'll get a chance explain whether or not roadside milling, com milling companies capital losses can be carried forward or set off against capital gains for the year ended 31 December 2008. Now, when you are answering such a question, I told you that when you are given three marks, don't just say three points are enough. Write at least four or five points. Because you don't know in taxation, they, they, it is common to give you half a mark. So as a general rule, so you can say as a general rule, assess the losses are carried forward indefinitely. That's, that's a general rule. Then you say, however, not all assess the losses are carried forward. The minimum is 800. And then... Uh, Thus, on, on marketable securities, this assess the loss is not carried forward because it is below the minimum. However, assess the losses on disposal of Gweru factory. These are carried forward because they are above the minimum and they can then be used. They can, be, they can then be allowed as deductions on disposal of specified assets in future. Are you not seeing, I tried to write four points. For three marks, try to write points which are more than the mark allocated because you don't know which point the examiner is going to allocate half a mark. Don't just think every point carries one mark. If that one, make it a general rule too for yourself. Then on 1 May 2018, uh, MRC lost its property in Arari as a result of countrywide expansion of highway road network by the local authority. Compensation was made to MRC at market value for the loss of revenue. Redundant equipment and demolition of the immovable property. Details of the affected property plan and equipment are as follows. So you have that. Now, so there you go. Uh, <clears throat> Nagati the Apima capital gains takes implications cana 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 uka 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 the paza my movable a copy or compensation the government. Do you still remember? We said they are deemed sales. They are deemed sales, good. They are deemed sales. Saka can the chick calculator capital gains takes go to CGT. They are deemed sales and compensation received is the deemed selling price. So CGT on forced demolitions. On forced demolitions. Because Wapiwa, Wapiwa demolition is as good as Watenges. Then the result. Takati for 2020, this is what is in foreign currency unless there is documentary evidence to prove which is really in domestic currents. So that treatment, there is no it at no distinction between the US or what, because those are, those are kind of for administrative convenience. So here's the deal. Uh, what you do is you say proceeds. Proceeds. And pro, ma, 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 my, com my market values cannot compensation in other people because the compensation was made to market value. So my market values are not compensation. So proceeds 
Aungoto autore proceeds yeshe sekuti seven ninety because mu seven ninety ka mune mune equipment iya ina chekui tani capital gains is saka you cross it out especially uchito tanga uwelenga jeje iwa wai visa kuto tusa zite mistake nekuti iya isi iya isi specified asset saka uno uno zona tu ma proceeds asar i seven ninety minus one eight the equipment. Seven nine uh, or or you can you can put it one by one and say land so that you don't know where the examiner is going to give you half, half a mark. So land two hundred factory building three hundred. So let me do it one one. Then factory building factory building three hundred. Oh sorry. And you have to be fast, then concrete wall, concrete wall, concrete wall here, one ten thousand, concrete wall, one ten thousand, and then so these are your disposal proceeds. Make sure you have them with you like this and then you say less recruitment notice uh, that this thing is actually deemed sell and why why do we deduct recruitment because negative charge amount is totally included per land upon recruitment not land i claim my capital allowances so that recruitment in perfect rebuilding and that recruitment cannot exceed the allowances granted. So that perfect rebuilding, my allowances are winner on day 150 because ITV is up as zero. So that potential recruitment will not be 300 minus zero or 300. But in that actual recruitment, I exceed my allowances granted. So that my allowances granted is 150. Wait at the same foot per concrete wall. Recruitment is 110 minus 40, which is 70. But recruitment I exceed my allowance is granted. My allowance is a grant up on day 40, meaning 80 minus 40 in the 40. So my recruitment is 150 in the 40. 150. That's 40. Right? So recruitment equals minus 190. And uh, then after doing that, you get what is called capital amount. This answer is called capital amount. Capital amount. And then you say deductions. Deductions. Now, deductions, they include cost. How much you got these for? Now cost. Uh, now, if if you are listing figures that we gave you, don't think it will carry mark more marks to say land. It's mark fake plano. Just over hundred plus one fifty plus eighty. That's the cost, which is two fifty plus eighty. That's the uh, cost. It's hundred plus one fifty plus eighty. So what we have there is equals two fifty. Plus 18. Right? That's cost. And then you say less capital allowances. Capital allowances. Capital allowances. Remember, capital allowances, you just get them by saying cost minus ITV. So you notice it's 150 plus 40 again. So Capital allowances is 150 plus 40, which is equals to, which is the same as our recoupment. And then you say inflation allowance. Inflation allowance. You know, containing capital gains takes, I said, whatever you are reading or listening to. Ukawona pakata or 22 February 2019. Uh, before 22 February 2019, after 22 February 
Izo zese zia zwa kazi ituwa override na 2020 legislation. 2020 ya kango titi doke kukaukuleta titi dai on immovable property. Provided assumption ili yeguti zese zwa kazi ili ni foreign currency. <coughs> right. So, you say land, factory building, concrete wall. So, what you do when you are, when you are putting uh, inflation allowances on land, you say equals 100, 1, 2, 3, times 2,5% times. Now, how many years? So, you say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, times 9 years. So, this one is times 9. You even include the year of disposal. Now, factory building, you say, equals 150 times 2,5% times <clears throat> how many years? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 times 5 years. Concrete wall, you say, 80,000 times 2,5% times what do you have? 16, 17, 18 times 3 years. <clears throat> so you check Kutipachi uh, Nechimwer. Alright? What paid? Over what? That's our own. What equals sum? Equals sum. Like so. All right, then you get capital gain here. Gain over what equals 420 minus this. Then over what less assess the loss scaled forward, less capital losses scaled forward. Remember to whoop the same company in capital losses. Capital losses brought down. The same company, 30 capital loss at no total 5,000 chat. Then, uh, what I saw, so Tanyanzak, uh, <coughs> this is now revised, revised capital gain, capital gain. You know, if, if, if with takes, if you just do two papers, Seriously, two papers, you'll be done with the syllabus. And you, you might you might even be ripe for exam. Then CGT at 20%. So you say equals this times 0.2. Now, what I want you to notice, another thing that I want you to notice is this. Um, question here at capital gains takes, Diana at withholding takes, Dianga yango to withholding takes on immovable property. Why it say? Taurana say to move time. Dianga yango to withhold capital gains withholding takes. Why it say on immovable property? Hmm. Shall do Taurana say? Ah, takes a tiri seven ninety. Minus the market value, the plan and equipment. Ah, uh, not uh, yeah, exactly. Why go to seven ninety minus market value, plan and equipment? One more plan, each. Five percent. Ah, one more plan, each. Imagine this time. With holding takes. Eh, uh, yes. Uh, why? Why we have my tables? That's all. Why it is seven ninety minus one eight? What we are on? What we are on my tables? Don't have to follow my stages. What we are on okay. my tables? What's got to? What's got to start the rates? Here immovable property cheap. Okay. In this case, it's fifteen percent. We not we have on my tables. I cannot start on what it say. Do not I know we have my tables? Don't touch the rate. That is what I want. We try to decide a situation in which rate in a issue in a gap. All right.
right, so there you go. Next. Rima Private Limited commenced business operations on 5 June, 5 January. The company directors have the opinion that they are required to register for corporate tax with Zimra after 18 months. Hello? You know, they are saying they are required to register after 18 months. You have been engaged by Rima to advise on the limits for submission of to Zim of information to Zimra and all related tax compliance matters uh, for the period ended 31 December 2018. Now, now, um, when our revenue is 280,000 like this, now they are saying the monthly wage bill is 2,000, which is total for 20, for five employees. You can convert this to Zim dollar. You can simply say it's 16,000. Perhaps if you multiply by eight, it makes sense. So what, what for, for in the interest of making sure that this is now relevant, Eregat Dai, Aba Paganzi, Paganzi 2,000, Regatichi Party 16, Aba Paganzi Revenue, E280, Regatichi 280, 1, 2, 3 times 8. So don't put my figures that are up like it will become 280,000 by 8. I'm getting 2,240,000. So per revenue, it's 2 million two forty says this. 2,240,000. Do revenue. Now go all time figures. Now, 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 don't worry, I will not, I will undo everything after, I won't save everything anyway. <laughs> All right. So, tab shanda chiti, the editor rangu kuna kwa kwa hiko kwa na kwa editor. Monthly wage bill is 16,000 for five employees. Kuro ti, employee wega wega, alu tambila mari kudarika, kudarika three point. And then revenue, ya tuta say two million. That is projected income statement. And then the rent, now they are saying it was for lease of a warehouse building which remained unoccupied as it 31 December 2018. Quote E rent for an, for an empty shop, Takati prohibited deduction. It's a prohibited deduction, that's what it means. Non current assets acquired were, they acquired planned and office building, meaning this one is, is uh, this one you claim way in tier 2.5%, this you claim here. RIMA's policy on non-current assets is to claim maximum capital allowance is possible in any given year, so there you go. Explain why director's opinion regarding the requirement to register for corporation tax is incorrect. Varakuti wano register for corporation tax 18 months after Watanga Kukuwa cooperate. Tagatu no register. You know, generally, I said it last week, I said, generally, Unofana register for cooperation tax within two weeks. Then the Gatia Uncle examine Commissioner no Gunaku allow to 31 days, cannot within a month. But as a general rule, you register maximum is one month. Can on Yadu Dawnia theta good corporate citizen? Two weeks on the final register for corporate tax. So, you are to no register after they are saying after. Sorry, flu is taking a toll on me today. They are saying no register after 18 months. Clearly, they are not doing it right. No register within two weeks. They are no register within a month maximum. So, I don't want to explain why. So, I'm going to 18 months, I see you know, commissioner or tax act, you know. Uno register within uno final register for corporate tax over your BP number and stuff up to a maximum period of one month. Now explain to Rima, explain Rima's statutory obligations. And she, she explained out to Zizo one of the quit our directors are. Pane three marks, Nakuzo can apply any three marks, try up Kunyora at least three, cannot at least four. Sagat at a target cheat, 
employee salary zang zapiwa. Then revenue pa gore i two foot i two foot revenue pa gore. Saka uka shika pa company ya kada I remember ma projected revenue. Uno uno wa uzabuti chika na tax consultant. Uno siko watu wa register under what under what under what and say which da. Uno siko wanti explain. Rega ungo register ya uno tawa wati say. Tawa na say. I think they should register for income. Oh, sorry. Can you speak up a little bit? I'm saying I think they should register for category C, uh, VAT because their income exceeds the minimum threshold of one million. Yes. Or you can, or you can simply say they should register for VAT as their annual project because the compulsory registration is still with one million. They, they should register for VAT even without specifying category to say they should register for VAT as their revenue is projected to exceed compulsory registration threshold. Yani five employees. Can I need five employees? Saka pa unobu wawo anzi wawo the tax obligations. Saka yuwe so unu weta unu ti register for VAT chilege za wawo mira ipa. Wobu watu VAT. Wanifanangu wa chili remita VAT because he Obligation you will order can register and in a reasonable and it. So who was that register for VAT? One for now, Baba Mika short of remit of VAT yet on the 25th of the following month of each tax period. But combos a registration. One of my employees five, called that one employer, and for now register for pay within two weeks of becoming an employer and auto make a short with you order pay. Zako, so I need a man to question a letter say. Eh, Alagani yato tana ngura nchansa figa yenga elipo. Eh, Alagani yato tana ngura nchansa mafiga zangari ipo. Dudango, dudango nchansa figa yenga elipo pa, pa, pa ngilgini yangu. Pa pay ya, pa ma employees. Right. Pa ma employees, tilkunzi, salary yao i 2000. Terele sa otuneta si, please pay attention. Uno divide a 2000 in a 5. Put it 2000. So divided by 5. 1 of 500. I mean 1 of 400. 1 of 400. Over what we are cool. Terry. Over what we are cool. Tell us what tables. Kunok. Tanga check the first table. Here. Rema employment table. Urugu na tupa ma table ayo. Pane, pane, pane ya kanzi. Kana muna chitambira salary up to 3,600 per annum. Aba dare takes. Saka unu fana kuonoti. Marili kutambili isi kwa washandi. I na rima. Ye 400. Ilu kumite. Saka na ya kanzi 3,600 per annum. Juna wakuti per month i 300. Wazi. Ugati 300 by 12. Unu wana 3,600. Saka wakuto nati rima iku tambilisa wa shandi vayo more than 300. Because wakuto tambila 400 per month. Saka wakuto 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 ino fanoto badala tax. Wawona kuprova kwa ita se ere shingai. Julie. Yes, sir. Unongo uto, unongo divide. Wawona matebozi. Kwete kushansi sa, wako ane kaka piwa. Unungo kushansi sa mafigari po. Ingi mungo kutita chete approach to take. Usapu wanya yukiri mafigari ya. Approach to take. Ndwe ya nungo kutita chete. Unungo kutani sa salary waka piwa. What divide? Because the end monthly. Wono ati mshanda ni 400. Because uruda kuti, uruda kwa advisor. Ima kuti nufana oto badala takes yewa shanti. Saka unga mgo wati. Ya. Munofana opota mshi badala takes yewa shanti. Reje style for pay. Mungo tamshi wa badala. A a. Uka wadu feso, ito anu wakanga nisaka because what if salary ya wadu badara wa shandi ili below the month, ili ili mzero kategori. Kana ya ili mzero kategori, apana chikuno badara. Apana chikuno, uno badara kana ya exceed that particular category. Simple as that. Now, 
Faith that takes obligations. Uh, <clears throat> then, calculate provision or tax which should be paid by Lima for the year ended 31 December. The state for each due date, stating the due date and amount for each payment. And that's the way. That's the way. I'm going to next week, next week, I'm going to invest a bit and I'm going to get a little bit of money. ネガ、ネガテレラ。デンディポ。またあんです。あんでデスガイティス。あんでウィタナシス。さかいオーソウネイタウチウィアプレスネクスウィークメカシュアウティ。え、ワタンガワ。ワタンガワプレイヤーフ
payable quarterly uh, quarterly quarterly as follows doma provision or tax is such so we're going to show due date for each can you imagine they say that there's only six marks saka waka fungi zilo to kanyora one point uno wana makika to tax who can gani is ingo gara uchiti pa pa one point no funga no gona wana quarter kana half a mark which are two ways detailed as possible go to the fungi zilo that no funga iba papa nda to around the five out of six so ningo wakutu pana pa quarter a due date Then takes paid. Takes paid. Right? So you have got <coughs> quarter first, second, third, fourth, due date, twenty five, March, twenty five, June, due date, twenty five, September. 20 December X paid you will be multiplying to say 0.1 10% multiply by that that one will be equals 0.25 multiply by the same figure here the other one equals 0.3 multiply by the same figure there and then the last one is 0.25 35 multiply by the same figure there. No, oh, sorry, crap. Supposed to say equals 0.35 multiply by the same figure there. So you, you get that? Done. Uh, you, it takes, takes is the exam that you can't fail. You can't fail, takes. Farm feed, notice. Farm Feed Limited is a manufacturer of livestock and is category C VAT registered operator. Is a category C VAT registered operator, but is a manufacturer of livestock. My livestock, Takati Machi, Tarena say time. Can you get my livestock feed for VAT? Target match. Zero rated supplies. Mass zero rated supplies. And 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 if you want, can you get my livestock feed? Even if you want to get my raw materials, it's zero rated. If you want to get my food, zero zero. So what did you get? Zero. What did you get? Zero. No get zero. Broiler concentrate. Can I get the broiler concentrate? Got it, got it, got it. Did not think of wheat, ne grain, chiba, gendo, kaya, and this is my shonga shonga. My raw materials and the tenga I, and a wheat grain, ne chiba, get it. My zero rated. In the Gazira broiler concentrate, that we think is a foot, my zero rated. Are you getting it? But in the Gazotenga, oh, the Gazotenga, oh. Uh, <coughs> Tom Tenga stationary, you are invertible. Because in no, no, Tenga stationary, okay, not on the not as well fatigue. But in Gano Tenga wheat, you know, farmer, kuam talk, my is zero rated input here. So you are given here that there is sales. Saga, not on the outing because in this supply, we live stock, quality sales is zero rated. Abana Vata. Discounted sales, whether discounted cannot is zero rated food. Whether I think it's any discount, you cannot think it's any normal selling price, is zero rated. My sales retains my zero rated food. Negutangas no much of that. Cost of sales, eh, Nendra Namani, Neguti, ill made up of what? Sagat Nigetak noon, Saga, one up. Crop to eat, you to cross out. Upon a vat, eat, you to cross out. Upon a vat. This is a good issue because it's zero rated. To uh, yapana, discounted sales. They are saying the quality of inventory was compromised by overexposure to sunlight. Twenty percent discount was offered to customers because mango atenge sasi zvakanga nisika. Asi zero rate. Saka inabasa ni takes 
nevat cost of sales opening inventory is zero rate food zvese zvakada iso why because in this supplier we my live stock feeds saka zvese tinongoisa ma zero other information other payments comprise of salaries and wages as nevat you know pama salaries and wages apana vat o risk insurance iya ina vat nekuti haisi taxable supply interest on overdraft i am on my financial services my exempt ana vat repairs and maintenance i ina vat stationary they are saying 50% of the stationary was from unregistered operators so not 50% yanga kuma unregistered a ina vat foot saka pese pane panda cross 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 pane vachiiswa zero then fiscal devices ndakati unotora 50% e input tax passenger motor bed debts recovered during the month we 25 aya ma bed debts auri kuwana pama sales asina vat saka zvikuru kuti kuti haina vat wazone rapa juri kuti waiona ma max nekuziya kuti hazvina vat Eh yeah, asenda zvone. Yes. And 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 why go uka chaimo kubatsira ndechichi? Because examiner anenge akakuti pana apa is vatable where appropriate. Chaono fanga kuziya ndechichi kuti pa question examiner at live stock feed. Don't you dey bani answer but examiner anenge but all figures are inclusive of vat where appropriate. Kubva kubva funi zvoti nine. So I'm not sure what you say, zero, 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 almost if 60% of the figures are not going A, you know, it's a zero, zero reason. They could be a nature of business. Nature of business. Or be nature of business. In the real life, too. They say it's too close. It's not what it is. Right? So, each in a deal, a quick area, and I think I question you cannot get up here. I have. Yeah, for you, Na ya fai. Saka saka chine ga ndiko kuchega ndimo ita ndichitaura. Ona? Hanzi you should indicate by a zero any amount any amount on which vat is not chargeable or not claimable. Saka chinzwisisa manje. Saka zvikuzvira kuti question i ine vat company ine vat refund. Ine vat refund inodawo kuti ese ma sales zvayo ane zero rate iri kutozoclaima zvayo. Saka chinzwa manje kuti unoweka se Unogo ti vati payable or refundable for the month of July. Saka unoti output tax. Oba, wanzi, pese pa sina vati isa zero. Uka, uka, uka kangan waku isa zero unoluza, ma max. Saka vwa undu fana uta ita ukanzi isa zero pa sina vati. Iwongo siya uchiti ni uta apana. Watu kanganis. Saka unoti sales. Oba, unoti zero. Wat, unoti output tax. Oba, wat? VAT on standard rate what is sales or not zero discounted sales or not zero sales returns again zero change chimwe manje chakuda output tax chakuda output tax if 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 fringe benefit i manje ine tax ndakati kana uchida kuwa na VAT on fringe benefits zva unofana zvayande zvekuti my fringe benefits are inclusive of output tax my fringe benefits are inclusive of output tax saka uri kuita sei pana apa unodzoka kuma tables terea kwete aya aunenge wakapiwa sa usa 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 nyanya haku kuzvinetsa nema figures uno bata zvine zvine zvakakocha zvino ma figures unongozi yauti unazvo kuda unodzoka kuma tables kuno hoya panenge pakanzi chi motor vehicle benefits unopa tsvaga Aya. Mota yetu yanzi ine 3200 cc. Saka faunita unoti ma benefits in 9600. Saka unoti 9600. Do benefit. Wo divide dana 12. Nekuti yo ilipe anam iwo wanzi for the month of July. Uno divide dana 12. Wana 800. And wakanzi na say figure iyo ili inclusive of that. Uno pa wati multiply by 14,5 over 114,5 saka VAT yako inengeri 101 watopeza saka output tax ndo pati chai wanila saka tinongo nile one line nile output tax one nile amount 
wani chete ni amount ile passenger motor vehicle re arima rema ee vat on fringe benefit atina kuisa fringe benefit taisa vat pa ma fringe benefit mo ma students anita mistake kuti ano vasco nyora fringe benefit yacho acha zinti chikufana kuti chinyorwa ee vat on fringe benefit she notice what what input tax input tax uno what opening inventory zero raw materials zero closing inventory zero Tingos, uchintorowa, salaries and wages, zero. All risk insurance, zero. Overdraft facilities, zero. Of what repairs and maintenance. Ma repairs and maintenance, wansi, 50% arch. Ah, ma repairs and maintenance. Ah, is a 50% zipper stationary. Ma repairs and maintenance. Waku, waku input takes. Waku ti 14,5 over 114,5 times 17,000. Wana answer through my brackets. Stationary. Stationary wana wants the 50% day stationary again from unregistered suppliers. Saka will not 14,5% over 114,5 times 14,000 was a multiplier na 50%. Then, uchilku input takes the koko. Takati 50% ye cost ye fiscal device. Ino claim wase input takes. Saka will not say upper fiscal device over what Unongo ti fiscal device, what 50% of 26. Uga ita tali di figures up, unongo kuti company i in a fact refundable. Briefly explain requirements which must be met by VAT operators to claim input tax. You know, you know, uno, kutu claim a input tax ika. Tombo tu nuda wakile ma input takes ya July. Andita ba ndepa July. <coughs> Unofana nga hui ni anonzi ma take suppliers tax invoices. Ahu vumizu wakile ma tax isa that mwenu yungu zimu na kawaya kakoti tipe ma tax invoices wata andina. Unofana nga hui ni inonzi input tax schedule. Antiti mwenu yita kubasa. Kana wakile ma input tax unotonzi atacha input tax schedule. Kana kutipa nonzi Declare kuti une input tax schedule. Ilu kusapota ma figures za wai saa. Saka so, nora wutu unongo na wuzi itwa tax audit. Wone kwa nisi. Wai kile ma input tax usina ma tax invoices. Say. That's number one. Unofana mga ine ma valid. Kwete not any tax invoice. Ma valid tax invoices. Number, uh, number one. Number two. Unokile ma input tax. Kana waka tenga zinu from a VAT registered operator. A ah, hongo kileme input tax nekuti wakatenga zinu. Ah ah. Uno kilema input tax kana kwa wakatenga kwa cho kuri ari a VAT registered operator. Another thing, uno kilema input tax kana VAT yoyo kana 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 zwa wakatenga zichi rileta ku period ya uru ku kuvat period ya uru kufaila return. A ah, utole ma expenses a January. Even wakatenga ku VAT registered operator. What oh dakakanga na computer ya wakatenga ri ni January wakakanga na kuklema mu vat mu kuiklema mu input tax la January wazo ya wiklema mu input tax la July azitwe input ma invoices ese ari kuforma input tax schedule anofana nga achi relate period ya ukuita input tax Zero so, gigi Right. Yes, that was Yes, it's yes, Perfect. I was next. Mutor mood. Mutor matter mood. You hear him so? Because the beauty is the beauty is when I'm chatting them revision seminars. You make job easier for yourself. But when we go to family, my questions then no way to go and let her research. Can I go not? Ah, eh. That I just go I then notify you to to will and a position put it to 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 sponsor inquiry put it to 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 advise a definitive position. So go ahead. That that's the issue. Julie, I'm going to say, you know that every lesson, put it monkey muri po. When I say you are going to go to the man, not a one. Tine and Temba are partners in their business, sharing profits or losses equally since the commencement of trading operations in 2012. The partnership prepares accounts 
for 31 December each year. Tine and Temba admitted to go into a partnership. Jagati in the happy my implications, they quite admit a new partner. Can you unmute? Did you hear it? Sorry, Nasty. What are the tax implications for to admit a new partner? Uh, the old partnership is terminated and the new one is formed. Yes, it's not a new business altogether. Saka, you can work to prepare my tax returns. You not wait a time a portion. You need work to the old partnership power, a new partnership power. So it has a knack because my my profit and loss sharing ratios are not changing. The part the the partnership profit for nine months ended the 30 September 2008 is 32,000. Saka, you examine a time a na ega. Then you can see that the way we eat. Saka pa watu uzi konzi, izi first nine months because toko taka maadi, taka maadi mita mso wa wano oktober. So, kana uchinge wada hii maanji, watu pi wawunzi income e, in, profit yanga ili 32,000, but profit ya chia kwa wani kafta tae sama income zi saya, ni ku deducta zo seizu. Remember, rakato deduct, ndosika zhinzi debit, kwete kuti zili kuda ku deduct wa foot. Ah. You can the profit you yaka wanika after. Kurot is this is what you eat what you want to profit you. Profit you yaku down to add just one. You add the big kind of subtract as you may see the final on the zoom. It is it one July all non current assets were fully depreciated. Is it one January 28? All non current assets were fully depreciated. Is statement in order to for nine months the over January was to September. Apana, apana ma capital allowances ni kuti angai ni ma zero ITVS. Those no reality fully depreciated both for accounting and for tax. Those kwa shona pasi na kana depreciation na. Zungumzi pa pasi na kapa wanga pasi na kana asset. Kwa to wanga pasi na. Bata kunza wanga ato fully depreciate. So not for nine months wanga pasi na ma zero. Wanga wanga ma zero caring amounts of assets. And then on 1 October, Toko contributed the following. So Toko Toko asset, planned and equipment, passenger motor vehicle. Now, for passenger motor vehicle, I said it just answered him to cost year 84 for this particular lecture. So since he is above 50,000, above, since he is below 80, it's no claim. Tungo has not married the Zilmachi, Mazim dollars. Then pro, the partnership profit for one from one for period from one October to third one was thirty six. After so th profit is only three months younger thirty six. If we go not regavaka admit a toko, one week nine months we get a profit is thirty two. Wango is a toko three months we get only thirty six. It saga toko was long overdue. You can see that. Saka shukunzi kutituwa ni profit ita angata eda ni kuti data sases. Iya ye three months. Now the question now is additional information. Their sharing ratio yanga ya 1 is to 1 is to 1. Briefly explain the tax implications of admission on of the admission of TOKO to TINEI and TEMBA partnership. Doya wata ura i shingai. Wati a new partnership comes into being and then the, 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 when we are submitting tax returns, it means we have to submit tax returns for each period. The period prior to the admission of TOCO and the period after admission of TOCO. Calculate taxable income and tax payable for the year ended 31 December 2008. So remember what you do is you first calculate what is called joint taxable income. So notanga neguti January. September 2018. When we were in video, we were to play. Say, we were going to play the razor. We were going to confidence in the next video. We were going to join. We were going to play the paper. 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 We were going to play net profit. Joint taxable income. Net profit here we are getting 32,000 for nine months. 
48. No age of this is a good deduct for nine months. It was no not to life policy ish. joint life policy chat. Pani joint life policy chat. But pani pani footy interest from commercial bank EIE to that local bank interest in net of tax. Sakapana pa not add joint life policy. Joint life policy. Joint life policy in the MRE. In the 16,000. To that prohibited deduction. Then you say less commercial bank interest. E because uno piwa il net interest is withheld the resource. So can I get a aid what no visa? Less commercial bank interest. Fifteen thousand. What minus fifteen? Can I go super fast? To super fast. You know, uno uno uno. You know, as long as approach ya ko chi gona. Ati na idu match. E e e figure no buda indo e not joint. Do you not jo do you not joint taxable income? Taxable income. They first nine months. In the first nine months, I got to know My partners are the unknown. Move on out. My partners are Angara, Tine, and Temba. Tine, and Temba. Temba. So, what you then have to do is you are now saying share of joint taxable income. Share of joint taxable income. There were fifty percent partners. This multiply by 0 0.5 and then equals again this multiply by 0 0.5. There, that's their share of take joint taxable income. Then I said you come to whatever they was deducted to in way in which partners were beneficiaries. Like, like salaries, salaries, 21, 21, you say partner salaries, salaries, because they were the ones receiving the money, so we have to text them, 21, then 21, then next you say, after partner salaries, you then say partner's life policies. 2014 life policies life policies 20 14 there then you you come and say medical aid contribution 66 medical aid thousand thousand Right, so for the first six months, nine months, these are the figures. It's a matter of just taking note of the approach taken. Taking note of the approach taken. If I left anything, uh, no. Uh, I right, and then. You, you then say <coughs> three months, which is October to December, October to December 2018. You first, you again first need to calculate joint taxable income. Say net profit. Net. Okay. So, so allow me not to allow me then to move on. Let me just explain. You now understand how, you, how we go about it. You first calculate joint taxable income. So for the three months, for the other three months, how, how are you going to do it? You just come here and say net profit 36. Add depreciation prohibited deduction. You add it back. Teach me to add back. A past in. What, what add back depreciation? Over what? Over what wanna joint taxable income? What wanna joint taxable income? Over what share manage? What could it tino? 
wakuti tinei temba and toko ye. Wofu wati share of joint taxable income ya inenge yawa one third ye figure ya wabulita. Wofu wati aid partner salaries. They say it won't wait the same ku aid ama partner salaries. Wofu wati futi aid interest on capital wait at the same. Oh, so pack calculator joint taxable income I said you know aid that depreciation. What aid that depreciation will not less capital allowances. So for that, after what aid that depreciation, usatu wa wana joint taxable income, will not aid depreciation, wobu what less capital allowances. 25, uh, unota sabuti, wane ma max, wano claim maximum capital allowances are possible. And the partners did not elect to claim maximum capital allowances. Ukapiwa statement E. Yekuti ma partners ana ku elect ku claim maximum capital allowances. Shunore wakuti, awucha claim e siya. Pama assets aya. Wakungo claim away and tie. Saka E36, add back depreciation. Wobu wati less capital allowances. Pa plant and equipment, wobu wati 10%. Remember, ma capital allowances e plant and equipment e... 10% of 75. Kana wakanga nwa rate, unongo, unongo uya kuma, kuma tables. Unoto uzwa kuti movable assets ani 10%. Then, pama passenger motor vehicle, unongo wati 20%, mama ma, ma motor vehicles ani 20%. Then, wopo wana joint taxable income. Wai share, waita chitebo cheku share, ne rate 1 is to 1 is to 1. Wopo wati tanga manje kuchiti foot. A debate partner salaries. A debate interest on capital after one share. Over one profit here three months. Profit here three months here. I mean, profit uh, income here three months. Over what add my income here nine months. Over what takes me 24,72%. Thanks, we get it. Thanks, we get Yes, sir. Good. Next. Next is Stacy resigned from her full time employment on 30 April and uh, to concentrate on her daily farming business. Saka so, Sugura could only two my incomes for the year. Any income from employment, any income here farming. Saka so, kwete uzoti say farming manga musina. Uto not farming ine nge gazara. Employment income. So all these are eh, employment incomes. But uko nata apaka nzi professional subscriptions. Kuro taya ma allowable deductions. But funeral police itakati i prohibited. Funeral police haibu mitu kese deduction. Nasa chichichi yae wa zese zunit kwa yusu. Then... Stacy contributed 2400 to a retirement annuity fund after a resignation from employment. Kurat, an a rough contribution, ira allow a boy. Remember, Nagati, not a rough contribution plus NASA contribution plus pension. This is what aggregate total. She also contributed 3,600 to Medical Aid Society, a total of 900 of M 1.5 prescription expenses was declined by the Medical Aid Society on the basis that the amount was in excess. In other words, Anima short for. For what I got contributed 3.6, no by Anima short for A900. Do I know the short for? I have to watch answer Medical Aid. When I'm farmers over on the IE short for Tengama Pilis Wega. Saka kuru wati imwe ufuti payment ima medical expenses iyo. Saka ukanzi wewe kantaya kumpa medical expenses credit. Tinoshanti sachi. Tinoti 3.6. Toba tati plus 900. Then toba tati income from daily farming. E, ye daily income yake. Nde kuti aka tengeza milk sales, cattle sales, fine. Included in cattle sales is 40,000. Realized when Stacy was forced to sell. 50 of year 150 daily cows due to severe drought. Ye farm and a number of other farms were declared drought stricken in 20 for, for the 2017 and 2018 season. 
she made no other sales and purchases. Croft, if Papa Anima takes a relief, and you know the drought sales relief cannot force the sales relief, wait, I know the restocking allowance. I am eligible to. Drought sales relief, they could work at four squawk tenges a mombi. Taxable income, we are from mombi, the four squawk tenges, who know is spread over three years. Crop, who know, go now, after what take mombi, the four squawk tenges, or calculator taxable income, such, who know spread over three years. He know the drought sales relief, are eligible to that. In my foot, he leave here no one, he restocking allowance. Because I'm going to force what I'm going to do. I'm livestock purchases are eligible to claim 50% of the value of livestock purchased as a restocking allowance. Because she will be stocking livestock which was depleted by the previous, by the drought. However, the, the restocking allowance is restricted with the assessed carrying capacity of land. Remember what we said. Stacy made the prepayment of 20,000 for fencing of your farm. At 31 December, <coughs> only 50% of the farm had been fenced. So clearly, to no go did at all 20% year fence because I got the fencing. Do you outright deduction? So I walk up, look at a prepayment, but a prepayment at 20,000, it fence and fence. But who sat to a fence? At na kuti prepayment for fencing, dio deduction, takati fencing, kura to consider pa fence wapacho. Then other farm expenses are, so anyway, yes, ana tractor procurement, saka pesa hapa pano sodama capital allowances, but tractor, staff housing. Now, she built five staff housing units which were constructed, uh, one for the supervisor, at a cost of 30. Now, staff housing, which is constructed for the supervisor, uh, remember, supervisor it is still a farm worker. It is still staff housing. But they put the figure for 30 because when this paper was set, we deemed the cost was 25. So because this had exceeded 25, if a staff housing exceeds 25, we don't claim capital allowances. But because we are using, we are assuming that everything now is in Zim dollars. So not, none of these amounts have exceeded the deemed cost. So what we then do is we are going to claim capital allowances on them. But on this paper, the deemed cost was 25. So by saying the farm supervisor's house was for 30, they are trying to say it exceeded the deemed cost. So there are no capital allowances. But as the other was for four permanent staff, which was at a cost of 60000 You know, I am just explaining now because of time. I want us to finish this paper. Now, the total daily aid as it, the 1 January was 150, so that was opening stock, and the closing inventory was 100. That was closing stock, and fixed the standard values was 800 per cow. So that is for valuation purposes. All right, and right i identify and explain the reliefs applicable to stacy to mitigate the effects of drought on the farming business three months so these ones we have we have identified and explained them we have identified drought sales relief and and if any restocking allowance it's identify and explain it's not identify and calculate no, so don't bother about it, calculating. It's explaining. What do you mean by drought sales relief? You are saying if a farmer is forced to dispose of his or her livestock as a result of drought or disease, for, from a, and which has been declared by the minister, any taxable income arising from those forced sales can be spread over three years, meaning can be taken over three years on a straight line basis. And then restocking allowance, you are saying, if Stacy then chooses to replace or to restock his air livestock, which was depleted by drought, she can elect to have to claim 50% of the value of livestock purchased to, 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 to restock her head. However, this additional allowance is restricted by the assessed decaying capacity of land. 
are you not saying three marks i make sure that i say at least three sentences i i, I don't i don't just say perhaps the examiner i uh, know i just need to be safe calculate state taxable income and tax payable or fundable for the year ended 31 december 2018 all right calculate state taxable income and tax payable for the year end they are saying you you should indicate by the use of zero any amount so quickly employment income so there are two there are two sources of income you remember the heading you write it nicely to say tax taxable income and tax payable for stacy for the year ended 31 but in an exam i said you don't type the heading you copy it don't waste time typing the heading it's saying calculate stasis so you just copy from here stasis taxable income and tax payable for the year ended just copy it as it is and pass, paste it on your answer and right away begin to say employment employment uh income tax she has two sources of income so there's employment income tax this one is merely straightforward because we are just using employment tax provisions all right salary the matter of saying salary uh, salary excuse my spelling there i'm a bit i'm rushing a bit 800 8000 and then cash in lieu of leave cash in lieu of leave cash in lieu of leave it's how much 3000 so i put 3000 here say next it's transport allowance transport allowance tp transport allowance all these are incomes 1.5 if we were told that she was a civil servant this would be exempt incomes if stacy was a civil servant transport and accommodation allowance would be exempt accommodation allowance 1000 are you getting what i'm saying if stacy was a civil servant the allowance is there these two should be would be exempt and then i'm sure those are a incomes and then deductions like professional subscriptions professional subscriptions it's an allowable deduction uh 500 negative indicate with a zero pension pension 2.5 pension contribution 2.5 because i said first you verify whether all these aggregates they ex they, they don't exceed the aggregate maximum pension RAF nasa nasa 98 nasa you know, in an exam already, you have passed this paper with where you are so far already. <clears throat> and then funeral police put a zero. Funeral police put a zero there. And then uh, what else? Uh, rough contributions 2.4. Rough. <clears throat> Minus 2.4, and then I'm sure that's it. That's it from farming. Okay, are you not seeing it's easy if you know your stuff? You need not to panic, just be confident with your stuff there. Uh, this is taxable income. Told you how you go about it. You then say you come it's eight thousand and two so you come to the tables sorry you come to the tables it's eight thousand and two so what you do is you after coming to the tables meaning the first first tables employment tax tables you simply say she earns eight thousand and two meaning the income is 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 in this particular bracket here it's she's in twenty percent tax uh, bracket 
but 8002 in, includes 3.6 which is a, the first 3600 she is not taxed so you say you say you say tax Three six hundred is zero. <clears throat> she is not taxed the first. She is taxed on the excess. Then you say excess at twenty percent. Please be confident, super confident on how we do this. Eight zero zero two minus three six hundred. Now you multiply that by twenty percent. So you then say equals open bracket this minus 300 close bracket times 0.2. <clears throat> right. After getting this, uh, you add 3% as levy. You then you 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 get this. You add 3%. Ah, first before you add 3% as levy, you check whether there was any tax credits first from the information given for Stacy. Uh, okay. So come here and say, Stacy, did, did she have any tax? Uh, yeah, the age we are not given, but the, we are given medical expenses credit. So we say less medical expenses credit. Expenses credit. So this one is 50%. 50% multiply by the contributions she paid plus the shortfall in where she paid on pharmacies. So you say equals 4.5, 4,500. 4, uh, multiply by 0.5. Remember this figure here is negative is negative so if the figure is negative here and you tally it up it whenever it comes out negative it means there's no more medical there's no three percent aids left you can still put it but there's nothing you can say three percent aids levy aids levy but you put zero here because it's negative and then and then what you get after adding 3% as levy, after putting zero, you get this. And then you say, let's pay deducted. Let's pay deducted. Yeah, how, how much pay was deducted? 1.4 here. Here, employer deducted 1.4. So you say 1.4. 1.4 you, you are subtract you say minus 1400 so what is what is uh, so you can now see you can now see that she is tax refundable she actually is tax refundable here of of 1.4 you you don't you don't then say she she needed to we, zimra needs to refund minus 1.3 minus 1.4 ah. <coughs> because remember the employer only deducted 1.4 she was supposed to pay uh, actually she was in a negative category so the 1.4 deducted should be refunded all right then daily income daily income now you can't write this paper and then say say there was no farming uh, daily income. Not seeing every topic we discussed is examinable. So when you are doing takes, don't say ah say tell me topics which are going to come. No, there's no way I can do that to you because I'm yet to come across a text paper which doesn't examine anything, everything. So daily income, you have got milk sales, milk sales, milk sales. So there you go. How much do you have for milk sales? 160,000. 160, 1, 2, 3. And then we have got uh, 
kettle sales. Kettle sales. How much was the figure for kettle sales? 60,000. 60,000 here. And then you say, now, now you say cost of sales, cost, cost, you know, the cost of these sales. Now we didn't purchase anything. So if you want to find the cost of sales, you simply say you simply say opening stock. It's a matter of multiplying the number of live stock times FSV. So opening stock was 150 times 800. 150 multiplied by 800. Opening stock was 120,000. Closing stock is 80,000. So opening stock was 120, 123. Closing stock was 800 times 80,000 and 800 times 100 livestock. So that's 80, one, two, three. That was closing stock. So, because remember cost of sales, you say opening stock minus closing, well, I mean, eight pages is less closing stock. So your closing stock here is negative because there was no purchases. It means, it means if you say this minus this, you then get cost of sales. Remember, cost of sales are deducted from cost of sales are deducted from uh, from sales like that. Okay, where have I gotten it from? I was supposed to put another bracket here. Cost of sales are deducted from sales. What else do you do? You then put all these expenses here. Daily cattle expenses, daily cattle expenses is uh, minus 33,000, minus 33,123. And then what, what another, ex, what is the other expense we have? Staff expenses, 35, staff expenses, 35. And then uh, general expenses 25 general expenses 25 minus 25 and then um, capital allowances on tractor capital allowances capital uh, capital allowances we have got tractor Tractor, you simply say 25% of 46, 25% times 46, 1, 2, 3. Okay, it's percent times 46. So you say equals minus 25% multiplied by 46, 1, 2, 3. And then you've got staff housing. Now, all staff housing units, they were below the current, if you assume everything is in the, in the dollar, so it's 90 times times 25%. 90, so K times 25%. Notice, I claim my capital allowances. I farm owner. I claim, I know I a farm owner. I claim it. All right. Uh, so there you go. And now he's talking allowing the claim because I started taking a moment. And now, force the sales, force the sales relief. Uh, you know, you, you, you say direct li li livestock running expenses. You, you can calculate force the sales relief here because it's possible. But force the sales relief here, we are told that, are we given the actual number of livestock that she sold? Yes, she sold 50 due to drought. So you say, you can have here and say, uh, <clears throat> force the sales, you can have it as a separate working, force the sales, 
On first the sales she got, she sold 40,000. Less cost, less cost. The, cat, the cows were 50 times 800, which is equals 50 multiplied by minus 8, 800 at 40. Are you not seeing here? She sold for 40 and cost was 40. So what it means is there's no income to spread over three years. It's not like it's no it's natural that there's no in this case there's no income for her to claim forced sales because the cost was equal to the amount she sold it for. So you now have taxable income. This is now taxable income. Then this one you just tax at you just tax at twenty four comma seventy two percent simple as that. So there you go. So that one is done. You 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 can uh, text is it's it's a rare subject where you can actually get. Uh, you do you know in 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 December 2019, Atlas Resources with the student with the highest mark who got 88 percent in Zimbabwe for tax. And 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 that was fantastic. And you can you can you 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 can agree with me. That suppose time up is now, suppose it's now time up, time up, you are just left with 15 months. You can still navigate your terrain even to 92, to 94, to 96, you can still do that. Now, VL Limited is a subsidiary of, okay, so this one I'm, on, I'm no longer going to answer it because of time, but let me give you the hints. I will be just reading and give you the hints on the go. It's a subsidiary of Squana Limited, a Botswana holding company. BL was incorporated in Zimbabwe on 1 March 2018 and commenced the business on 15 March. The financial statements for the period from 15 March to December show that BL made a loss. So you start with a net loss. Remember, you say loss for the period. That's what you start with. And they say this loss is before making any adjustments. In other words, in other words, we used the, all this to come up with this loss. So we are yet to make these tax adjustments. Bank interest received of 8,000. What you do with this interest, you subtract it. So it was a loss, you subtract interest. The reason why you subtract interest is because tax is withheld as the source. <coughs> Another point is, interest of 15,000 was paid to Squana in respect of a loan of 150. The amount was advanced by Squana. Remember, Squana is a parent company which is in Botswana. The amount was advanced by Squana on 1 March to, to, to cover office rent for the period 1 October to 3rd, 1 March to 3rd, 1 October. Commercial bank interest on the same loan was 10%. So no wonder why they say, they just said 10% of 150. So what does this tell you? You deducted the interest of 15,000, but of the interest of the interest, uh, it was to cover rent. It was to cover rent from 1 March to 31. So the only portion of the interest which is allowable as a deduction is the interest which was paid to cover rent. So rent was March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So we had eight months. So if you want to find how much is allowable interest in the 15, you say 10% of 150, which is 15 multiplied by eight months. So it's 15,000 multiplied by eight over 12. So in the interest of 10,000 or 15,000, only 10,000 is allowable. It means the other 5,000, you add it back. The other 5,000 is prohibited. You add it back. Depreciation of, of 31,000, you add it back. Nursing home, donations to, nursing, to private nursing home, prohib prohibited. 
donations to the ministry. So this one, 10,000, you add it back because it's prohibited. But Ministry of Health, you put zero because it's allowable. So there was a once off list premium of there's a, there was a once off list premium of 60,000 paid when when BAO signed a, a, a lease agreement for a two acre plot of land from Max Limited in an elected company. The lease is for an indefinite period, meaning we use 10 years. We use 10 years. Now, notice, they are saying they calculated the loss after deducting a lease premium. Remember, lease premium is not as deducted in full in the end of the lessee. So what we do is we add it back. 60,000, you add it back. The requirement for the lease. So what, after adding 60,000 back, what do you do? You then divide. <clears throat> if you now want to find how much is allowable as a deduction. Remember, this was paid on 1 April. So you count April to April to... April to December, that's nine months. So what you do is you divide the 60,000, 60,000 divided by 10 years, you get 600. This is the amount allowable for deduction. But for this year, you multiply it by nine over 12. Simple as that. So you deduct 4.5. The, the, the requirements of the lease are such that BAO must construct commercial property building valued at, notice the amounts, you must construct valued at 400 for, for the building and boundary wall valued at 150. So these are the amounts specified in the lease. It means if you exceed this, we, you, we, we, when you are calculating lease improvement allowance, we just calculate it on this figure, not on the actual. Now, upon completion, BL would pay monthly rent of 1,000. So we completed when they are saying BL moved into the newly comp completed building on 1 October. So there's another expense there. We, 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 we are renting a, a, a plot of land where we constructed these two. So the, the rent is 1,000 times November, December. So there's 2,000 rent. And then there is lease improvement allowance. Now notice, if the actual costs were now 450 and 180, and we had said we, it, it should be 400 and 150, what did I say? I said, we check whether there was a variation clause agreed prior to completion of these improvements. Like in this case, we are not told that they agreed an upward variation. So we calculate lease improvements on 400 and 450. So you say 400,000. Please pay attention. Shingai asked that question earlier. I want to explain it. You say 400,000 plus 150, 1, 2, 3. You then divide that by... <clears throat> You say equals. You divide it under normal circumstances. We said you divide by an expired period of lease. Remember, this is for an indefinite period, so we are using. We are going to use ten years. But we we took how many years construction? We took April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. We actually. We, we took oh we, we took April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Because we now end up, so we took we, we took through to we, we occupied it on one November. So what we do is we, we are no longer going to divide by ten months per se. You know, if you want to find the monthly allowance, you say four hundred plus four plus one fifty, that's 550, 1, 2, 3, divided by 120 months, that's 10 years, you get per month, you get per month. But in this case, an expired period of the lease, you get per month. So in this case, we are, we are, we are now 
we are now just we are now just claiming for November and December. Then you multiply that by the two months that we had, so you get nine one one six. The 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 golden rule is when you say divide by ten. Shingai asked that question, and it took you eighty eight months construction. It means an expired period of the lease. It's now 10 months, 10, it's now 10 minus 8 months, or oh, 120 months minus 8, you get per month. So for that month, you are now just claiming for the remaining months. Are we together? Now you may say, say, so what about, what about the, because I bought, I, uh, this one was, this one was, was 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 actually I paid more. What happens to the extra? What happens to the extra? The extra is considered your it's a kind of your asset then in your books. So you can claim wear and tear on the extra because the extra was 630. Uh, you, the actual cost was 630 but yours was 550. So you can actually claim wear and tear on the extra. So it was 630 minus 550. So the extra was 80. So you can claim wear and tear on the, on the remaining 80. Now, in the books of the lessee, which is max limited, the premium of sick, the least premium of CGT, it's taxable in full, it's income. And the renter received of 2000, it's income. And the asset constructed by the less C. Uh, now, in the books of the less so, cloth mulids were rent, mulids were property and on the max, premium e -E income, you know, takes quite in full. Rent, they are good receiver, you know, takes quite in full. Another thing is, my buildings are kawa kwa. My buildings are kawa kwa. Less so, ano claimer, capital allowances on those buildings as well. Uh, then, BLS non-current asset register is like this. So this is about claiming capital allowances as well. But notice, notice, kuma capital allowances yema fiscal devices. Fifty percent unai claim akuvat. Kuro akuti kuno kuango claim a ma capital allowances on fifty percent iningea sar. Kutake sa ubuni go benefit advice. Right. Yes. Eh, Mm -hmm. Can I Yes. Yes. Shandisa is the excess. Ah, Yatinetak Shandisa Ama buildings, Ake Akanya Sovaki, which I have. Shandisa amount in Mulis is no apply a Kajit Kunale seen in Tinti. I cannot sort of upward variation. Okay, thank you. Are you answered? Yes. Yes. Ah, and the Pata were interesting, but in that less so. Muridwe building, I know these figures. Reason, do my actual costs in my buildings, I came my books. All right. I, so this question, I'm going to wait and I'm going to end. Are you not seeing, are you not seeing, after doing today's lecture, like what we have done, are you not seeing that there should be a remarkable improvement on how you appreciate tax exam? Then one daughter tower and fail. Fail in the other it is impossible to push a text exam. Why? What was the reason? Tawana say. Oh, it's fail is no longer intellectual. Uh, I wanted fail to talk to 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 talk to me. <laughs> Juliet, stop. Oh, your mic is not working. Saka fell into that. Saka put on that one. Record the WhatsApp message. Undi wuzi kuti. Say what? Exam. Nengra ka pusa se zis. Fungwa zikuti. Nengandiri pushe to next sitting. It's not very. I also 
it takes years in Babu. Okay, push out to your December, Shaman. I in exam in September. So, what it means is, when you walk to your December, and can you imagine this is what this is? When you go to Gangan, yes, Juliet. After that, any lecture, like I what is now? What now? What now is your appreciation? Because it was not the text. Mm, Stephen, the text is no good practice, as well. Because it's just the same question. My question paper, I can just like I'm go fun. I'm like, if you practice, I think we'll make it. Yes, if you practice, you make it. That that's the correct thing. One notice about most of the information can go to my tables. Can I see that some figures never read in a chiant? Yes, sir. Then going forward, I'm going to verify again the dim the cost a passenger motor vehicle, ne dim the cost a chi, yes, tough house. No, from the doche, it's a chap, the chamu chamasira say. Miss, they say you can actually, you can actually navigate. Safa. After today's lecture, what's your take, Shama? And Jebuti, can I examine and go to Yamanga and I think they know Yes, I like that because he, because he, and 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 also cannot and also in the in the in the in the arena you could practice a text. You know, notice a good text. If I know when we practice and if three my papers change you yet. We can go do that on a paper at December twenty. Tombo to a paper at December.